Hey guys, it's Sarah from I Swear I'm Stitching. Today is episode 89 and it is March 8th, 2024. Thanks for stopping by. Um, I hope you like what you see. Um, it's gonna be uh, a lot of stuff. I think I have almost every bag in all of the threads. Almost every bag <laughs> with a, that has a project in it on my desk right now, except for like three. So you're gonna see a lot. Um, let's see. I think I'll start with the non-March Madness stuff. So, we'll start with this. Okay, so I've been working on the Never Forget DNA Dough Project pattern from um, Primitive Creek, Pumpkin Creek Primitives. Um, when you buy the pattern on her website, um, she donates $4 to the DNA Doe Project General Fund. So it's to help identify Jane Doe's. And I decided to just, uh, I was contemplating changing the colors, but I kept the, all the colors the same. Oh, I'm really saying. All the colors, all the call for DMCs, um, except the center is a, um, I think they use, Ribbon Fiber Co's. What color is that? Orchid? I don't know. But I used a different Forbidden Fiber Co color. I had Potion from a Halloween box of some kind somewhere. And this fabric is 18 Count Ada from Bestitch Me in. Oh no. Lunar, Lunar Shadow, Shadow, I don't know. It's like a gray with like purpley blue. But yeah, so I made good progress on it last night while I was watching Critical Role. And I do not like doing this border. I'm just now turning the corners, so I, I was like, I was like, I did like a strand of one of these colors and then something here, and like a strand of one of these colors and something here. That's why it's all, there's no rhyme or reason. But yeah, that's where I'm on, on there. I would, once this is finished, I'm gonna pair it with my serial killer piece and make a project bag. I so love this, this Ada is so, so nice to stitch on. another non uh, cryptic from the witchy stitcher I worked on that that is not part of my March Madness and I'm stitching this on which one's this one yeah the pink chocolate 32 count Lugana and I got my creature for this month my block for this month done I was thinking Last time I wanted to do the Kraken because it was really calling for me. But then um, when I pulled it out, I was like, you know what? I don't want to do my little Mothman because I love Mothman. I'm going to do my little guy. So I did my little Mothman instead. So there's my little Mothman. Got him done. He's so, <laughs> he's so cute. There it is so far. And again, this fabric is very hard to get on camera. That's pretty. Pull it close and it's totally washed out. It's definitely like a mauve color. <laughs> so yeah, got my Mothman done. And then I will pick up Supernatural next week on Wednesday. And I haven't quite decided which block I'm going to do on that one yet. And then I worked on my Mirabilia, my At The Met. She has technically one more day I have, that I assigned to work on her. I work on her, I work on her whenever I want. But specifically, I try to put some stitches in her on Thursdays. So she has one more Thursday before I switch to my next lady, my La Capati. But this is my Mirabilia At The Met. And I'm working her on 32 count Crimson Peak from Jody at from Still City Stitchers. 
and I didn't get a lot done on her because I was working on the other project I watched my critical role but I did start I was contemplating going down the dress but I decided to go up I wanted to finish that kind of middle sash and her top half so I want to finish just the top of her dress before I put her away for the year sorry I bite my nails because they're gross I'm sorry So, and I couldn't finish her sash completely because I don't know what happened to two of my colors that I had in her. I must have taken her out for other projects and psh, forgot to put them back. So, just have to find those colors and insert them there and then just hopefully the next, before then, what, 19th? Is that when the spring starts? So, hopefully, hopefully before then, I can finish the top of her dress. I mean, it's not a lot. The top of the dress is not very big. I think I can totally do it. It's a lot of black. I think so it's not like not, not a lot of color changes. So I think I can totally get that done. And then it would have been cool to have all her dress done this year. <laughs> this season. And really, stitching wise, a lot of this detail in the dress is beads. A lot of that is beads. So really, it's just like a lot of black and some blue in that bottom. And if I wasn't switching her out for a different lady, I could really, I could have her done this year. I could knock her out fairly quickly. She's not very big, really, as far as memorabilia's go. She's not very big. Like, I feel like, I mean, look, I mean, look at that. Just hold my I mean... Yeah, I just don't feel like she's that big, so I should be able to get top of her dress done before Spring Lady comes out. And then, so when I pick her up again in December, I feel like I can finish her by the end of year next year. I, should, I feel like I totally can. All right, so now we are on to uh, March Stitchy Madness. I am in uh, fandom stitching on uh, Facebook and the, um, I do a lot of ums, I'm sorry. This year it's Disney themed, sorry. And, um, and um, I'm on Team Goofy. I um, got assigned, I didn't care what team I was on because, you know, Disney's Disney, I love them all. Though Donald is my favorite because he's a bit of a curmudgeon and I love me a curmudgeon. Plus he never has pants on. <laughs> Living my best life. Never having to wear pants. Come on. Anyways. So that's my bracket. So I've done the first seven days. Today's day eight. So the first two uh, that were up against each other were... Colorful Birds and Fluff the Dragon. Where's my fluff? Oh no. Guys, I lost fluff. There it is. Okay. So I just want to get the pictures of the patterns out for you. Really, you should see this table, you guys. I don't know how anything is organized. Plus, I've got bags inside bags inside bags. Because that's how I attempt to organize. So it was day one was seven birds and day two was fluff the dragon. Seven birds is from DMC and fluff the dragon is from Maroon Design. They were challenging each other. And no, I don't have before pictures. I'm sorry. My birds is DMC and 18 count Ada by Kaylee from Kaylee Tent Stitch. Um, Sunrise Shibori. I got 245 stitches in. So basically I did a lot of the pink in this bird. It was one little blue claw. And I put a little bit of yellow in his beak. So then I ran out. So I couldn't put the rest of the yellow in him. So there's that. 
like I said, he had 245 stitches in him. And then my Fluff the Dragon is on 36 count linen from J XJU Designs, Alien from the Moon. And I'm using thread dyed by Kaylee. It's long color repeats of like a bluey gray and brown. And when I show you the project, it's gonna be hard for you to see, but to me, it's very clear. They're very long repeats and I just love the way it's looking and I love it on this fabric. And I'm doing two over two because this 36 count is more like a 32 count. Oh, I got so much done on him, you guys. I don't have before pictures, so you can't tell, but I had like last time I had this done, uh, most of this to about here and like a little tiny nubbin of his tail. I don't think, you know, I have pictures on Instagram. Yeah, I'll show you guys that. Yeah, so that's, these are awful pictures. That's where I was on birds before I started. And this was where I was on fluff before I started. So see, like, all the, look at all the purse I got. Look at all that. He was so fun. I got 912 stitches on him. I had a killer stitching day. And can you, can you see the color? You can kind of see it. Like, look, like in here, like how it goes. That one's brown, that one's gray, gray, brown. Up here is pretty much solid brown. Down here is a lot of gray. And then kind of trans transitions to brown. Oh, I just love it so much. And then like somehow I got a lot of brown in here, but this one corner, like gray. <laughs> I don't plan anything. I don't try to match up threads. I don't try to keep the colors going. I actually prefer variety. So what I do is to vary it is um, she gave me three bobbins. And you can see like one is more bluey. One is more brownie. One's pretty even. So I take a length off of all three and then I kind of put them to the side and then I just randomly grab one, pull two, toss it into the pile, randomly grab it, pull two. That way it's varied. I keep, I do not try to match up or keep uh, color changes consistent. I prefer the um, random nature. Huh. But yeah, so that's fun. I absolutely love this pattern. Just like Perky Lion from her, from Miriam, they are just so, they're so fun to stitch. Oh, I love them so much. Where am I at on the pattern? How much do I got? I, mean, I still have a lot of them left to go. So, I'm um, finishing like his butt. Like, yeah. Oh, I love him so much. And this border, Unlike the other border I was talking about on um, Never Forget, does not bore me. I quite enjoy doing that border. So out of those two, Fluff the Dragon was the clear winner. I still will work on this because it's used in a prompt on fandom stitching that I'm working on. I put 400 stitches into it this month and I've put, well, I put 243. So, you know, I'm getting there. But, uh, yeah, so Fluff will go on to the next round. And then I had Sea Witch against Black and Sky. And I don't have their pictures printed out, so I will show you. Sea Witch. I'm not doing the words. And against Black and Sky. Those are shitty pictures from the internet, aren't they? And I told you I wasn't looking forward to doing Black at Sky because I just, I just don't, I love the end product. I'm going to love having it on my wall. I do not like stitching it. Just that, because I also like the fabric. I just don't enjoy the stitch. I don't like, I don't, I don't like the colors. I mean, I like green, but I'm just so sick of green. With, I just, I don't know. But, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you that Black at Sky did not win. <laughs> Partly for those reasons and probably because I was busy that day. You can tell which days I'm either not liking the stitch or I'm busy. Like Fluff the Dragon, I can't remember what day the second was, but apparently I did not do anything that day. 
Um, okay, so Sea Witch. From the Primitive Hair. And it's on 32 count linen from Bestitch Me and Bronze Age. I'm using the, I'm not using the, I always want to say I'm using the call for colors. I'm not. I'm using colors I picked out that were similar. So I've got just a plain white, a plain DMC, and then Night Stalker's Calling. And the nothing, you've heard it a thousand times. I'm not going to get into it. You know my feelings. Uh, classic color works Blue Beatrice and Blacksmith Blue. Which, oh. I love this blue. I want to do a project with this blue and Sassy Brass. Partly inspired by a quilt that uh, Kelly from Pages and Stitches, Pages 3 Stitches, is working on. That's um, like yellowy gold and navy and like, oh. so I want to do a project with this blue and Sassy Brass. And I have Sassy Brass in a project somewhere. I can I'll show you guys. Which project has my sassy brass? Ah, my project has my sassy brass. And it's fun to say, right? Sassy brass is one of my favorite. Oh, I'm dropping stuff because it's like I told you guys, it's a hot mess up in here. Okay. Sassy brass. Sassy brass. Oh, it's one of my favorites. I mean, look at this. Look at right together. How pretty. Oh yes. I need to find the perfect pattern. I have so many patterns, I'm sure I have a perfect pattern somewhere. Oh, one day, one day, not anytime soon, because I clearly have enough projects <laughs> and I don't want to order any more fancy floss because this is the last of my blacksmith blue. It should be enough to get me through the rest of the, of this pattern. Anyways, I'll show you the, I'll show you the pattern. Sorry, because I literally am just using, uh, for the rest of the, ooh, you know what? I forgot how to do the rest of the border. I need it for the outline. I'm all over the place. So I need it for that outline of the shell. And then, let's see, the rest of the border on the side here, and then the top border I'm gonna insert. So I may actually have to order more of that. Dang. Here she is, because I have to finish the outline of that shell. So it's not too much, just the outline. But then I gotta do the border. And I'm gonna take it up a little bit up, up and then close it off. And probably insert a few more little white doody dads. Oh, look at that seahorse. I, I messed up in the seahorse. <laughs> the seahorse is supposed to have a black eye. And I was just, just stitching along and forgot to leave an empty space for his black eye. But I'm just not gonna put an eyeball in. He doesn't need one. He's fine. And the pattern calls for his little mohawk to be in the light blue, but the pattern picture has it in the dark blue. And so I like it better than dark blue. So I wore the dark blue, but there she is. Oh, she's so pretty, I love her so much. I got 460 stitches into her. Oh, such a fun stitch. She is so pretty. Oh, I also um, finished, she hadn't, this little bit of green on her tail wasn't done and I finished uh, putting in the last leaf and then doing the, like, the leaf vine. This leaf is supposed to be down further. I miscounted, I'm not changing it, I don't care. It doesn't matter, it's just a leaf, who cares? But yeah, there she is. I love, I love this one so much. This. I will finish this, this this year. If I am, ideally, I'd finish it next time I stitch on her, but I have to fill, finish, obviously, the outline of the shell to fill in that big shell, and then the outline, the border. The border's nothing. But, yeah. And so, she was against Black at Sky, which you already know lost. And speaking of lost, I lost Black at Sky. I'm using the called for DMC. This is on a no-name eight there. That was on my lap. 18 count Ada from a Stitch Me. Yes, I have to cut the fabric. No, I won't until I'm done because that's how I roll. So I'm using the called for DMC, except for this moon. Nope. The sun. The variegated sun was done in Nice Soccer's Calling. Yes, 
And I started calling Morticia because I didn't want just a big giant boring black sun. So what I worked on was literally <laughs> just these couple words and that key. That is all I did. Okay, you know what? Gosh, I'm wieldy. Okay, so they and but and that key and the black inside that little doodad. It was a sad and pathetic 117 stitches. And the key I decided is supposed to be in like this dark green, this dark green, this green I feel like I'm gonna turn into from using so much. So I just used uh, that variegated black and made the key variegated black for some, just a little bit of difference. Looks more like an antique key. So I thought about doing the black, but I was like, I don't know, I hate the words are black. So I did that, this. And it looks antique and cute, and I like it. And I wish I had thought to incorporate some sort of variegated into this one. Because then I feel like it's helping me get through them to pop in just a tiny little bit of variegation. I mean, that's a big ass bit of variegation, but it's not hugely variegated. So it's not hugely noticeable. I'm not sure where I would have picked. Maybe I should have done the. I could have used the black there and made him variegated. And then I could have just had variegated black in all the boxes. Or I could have done like a variegated green, like a lightly variegated green there. Oh well. Oh well. So yeah, the blackest guy lost. Uh, big time. <laughs> so Sea Witch will be moving on, which I'm very happy about because I love her so much. And I can I can just I can feel her being so close. She's so close to a finish. She's just she's just out of my reach. And then I had Polar Pack against Wave. So polar Pack is from Plum Street Samplers against Wave from Fireplace Hobby by Trina Mastikova. I'm a little surprised who won this round, honestly. So, Polar Pack is on 32 Count Lugana and Aquarius from Bastich Me, one over one. Oh, I love it so much. It's so cute. I hate all the white, though. I was going to do a thread of white in the polar bear and then a thread of the red, because that's one of my favorite reds, which I can never remember the name of. Lancaster Red? Mm -hmm, is that right? Why can't I ever remember? So, I'm, you know... When you say, this is one of my favorites, and you don't know even what it's called, it's kind of embarrassing. Lick, licorice Red? Licorice Red? Is that really what it's called? Yeah. No. I know there's a Lancaster Red. Apparently that's not my favorite. <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Licorice Red. You don't care. I was going to do a line of that on the polar bear and a line of the red. You know, to, something fun, the red, something I just... Not wanting to do the white, but instead I just I had I had all this white and then like one snowflake done. I decided just to fill it, finish that part and close off the border because I didn't have the bottom border done. So I finished off that white, closed the bottom border, and then rewarded myself by starting the red. <laughs> but that's all the red I got. Oh, and I also did the last little white snowflakes and the last little you can't really see them blue doodads that I could that weren't in the middle of polar bears and there's supposed to be a bee on here I think she does that is it Paula Paulette Stewart I think she puts little bees in all these and I don't like it so I'm just gonna put like another little blue doodad in the bees place so that got 300 stitches which didn't feel like that much but I was really excited to start that red, so I'm surprised that it didn't win against Wave. I know. This is on 20 Count Lugana from Kaylee in an unknown colorway, right? Yeah, unknown colorway. Two over two, call for DMC from the pattern. And this got 521 stitches, which is like, again, it was, I don't know. I did not put these in any order to compete against each other. I just literally opened up my whip drawer and then as I pulled out the bags, wrote them down 
and then those are the projects that are getting worked on. So <laughs> when I had Polar Pack and Wave, I was like, that's just white and then more white. There's so much white in Wave. But I don't know if it's because it's 28 count, if it's because of, uh, Kaylee's 28 count Lugano is so nice to stitch on, because it was a change for my eyes, because these stitches look like friggin' huge. When I'm stitching them, I'm like, are these too big? Because I don't do 28 count very often or 14 count very often. So it's definitely a nice change of pace. And my eyes were like, thank you. So that white, I just flew through it. I got so much done on it. I'll show you. So much. Well, obviously I got so much done. I got 521 stitches done on it. But this is where I was when I started. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> all, like, almost all, was that little tiny bloop right there. I didn't get finished, covered in. But look at all of that. And then I took all my white. And I was going to go further with the white, but my Q-snap was in the way. And I didn't want to move the Q-snap. So I was like, fine, I'll just go out a little bit. And then focus on finishing inside there. And once I got the inside finished, I mean, look at the prop. Hate, I hated stitching on this for so long because of the white, but man, this last time, I just thoroughly enjoyed, I just, I was feeling it. I was just feeling it. That Those big stitches, those beautiful blues, that wonderful fabric. But then I look at the picture, I realize, well, I still have a lot to go. <laughs> I mean, it's not too much because it does, you know, taper to smaller. So, Yeah. I love it so much. I just I can't wait to have this finished. I already have a white circular frame on my wish list. I mean, I don't, I want to have everything I make done on my walls. I have absolutely no decorating style. Nothing matches. Nothing is cohesive. My wall, you can't see by my computer desk in my living room where all my, most of my cross stitch goes up. It doesn't match. I don't give a shit. I, well, I stitch it up. I want to look at it. I put it on my wall. So I have a white circular frame ordered. Not ordered. On my wish list. So when this is done, because I figured white would be pretty with the blue and go well with all the white stitches. I just, I cannot wait to have it on my wall because I really, really like this project. And I'm so glad that I'm enjoying stitching again. And I'm glad it won. I was surprised. I thought Polar Pack would win because I was going to reward myself with stitching my favorite red. So I thought I was going to, but I don't know if I was busy or what that day. But yeah, Wave just won, and I'm quite happy with that. And then, okay, and then yesterday and today's project, haven't worked on today's project yet, which oh, doesn't bode well. I hope that doesn't mean it's almost three. After this, I have to do laundry and then start dinner. And then my husband has tomorrow off. We might stay up late watching shitty things. I don't know if I'm going to get a lot of stitching done on it. I'm kind of sad. kind of would like uh, today's project to move on. But we'll see. I didn't get a lot done yesterday either because I was busy. So there's a chance. Anyways. Yesterday. Today. Do I have a picture of... Yeah, that's right. My printer ink was going out. Okay. So yesterday was Halloween Quaker from Leela Studios. This is such a pretty project, you guys. It's gonna take me so long, but it's so pretty, and I absolutely love the fabric I chose for it. Mm. The only problem is that because I had almost all of the called for um, color and cottons, I decided to do the project in those called for color and cottons, and then I decided to do it on a 32 count, which literally ate the thread, like this motif right here, ate through like an entire skein, almost. So now I have to buy more fancy floss. I'm like, oh, I just really hope not to have to buy fancy floss. But now I have to because I want it to be cohesive and match. 32 count eats up your thread. But that is against today's Perky Lion from Marumi Designs. Oh, I love him so much. He's still my favorite. Of all her patterns, he is my favorite. I just love his face. I love his little legs, his little tail. 
and yeah, her thread choice of a like a greeny uh, brown sulky on that orange. I copied it. I picked an orange. I loved it so much. I picked an orange and like a greeny brown orangey fabric, a thread. So anyways, so my Halloween Quaker is on 36 count. Oh, I thought I was around 32. I probably could have done one stitch. Oh, you know what it was? It was loose and I didn't like the way the one thread looked. Two is a little, it's thick. But yeah, if I just lived with having it be one stitch, this is gonna save myself some thread, but I definitely feel like it's a looser 36. So it needed the two, that's why. Anyway, so I'm 36 count linen and paranormal from Bestitch Me. Look at this fabric. Oh my god, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. And I'm doing two over two, as you heard. With the called four threads. See, there's my sassy brass. Oh, it's so pretty. It's my favorite. I love sassy brass. Okay. So, this only got 205 stitches. So, like I said, even if I don't get a lot done on my perky line today, maybe it'll win. But I, all I really did was I wanted to work on the pumpkin. So I had about, I think, I think I had everything up to here done. So I brought the flower down, did a little bit of that line, and then started my pumpkin. Oh gosh, it's going to be so pretty when it's done. It's going to be one of those ones I want hung up all year. But I also have a limited space. So that's part of why I love seasonal stitches is because then I can take them down put up different things and I, if I put everything up that I ever stitched and did manage to finish I'd have no wall space so it's, it's nice about seasonally and then I have uh, I'll just show you where I'm at on perky lion which I will start after my chores and my dinner and I'm um, using 36 count yeah, see, this is a 36 count, also just like that, um, linen from Bestitch Me and Pumpkin Pie. And this one, I feel like, came out definitely tighter. Because this is one over two, and you can just tell. Like, by looking like his, like the bulk of his leg, how well, the co how good the coverage is with the one thread. Two on this would have been painful. But one on the other 36 wasn't tight enough so but yeah so it's 36 cat linen in pumpkin five pumpkin pie from the stitch me and I'm using nice doctor's calling and bog of eternal stench and I that's good coloring right there that's really good I love it I love him so much I cannot wait to work on him and I do hope I get more than 205 stitches in on him so, <laughs> so that he goes to the next round but that's bog of eternal stench That's my stitching, right? That's all I did. Mirror cryptid. Blah, 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 blah. Yep. Okay, so I will show you what's coming up this next week for Who's Against Two. My son's watching something upstairs on YouTube and it sounds, it sounds creepy. He's cleaning his room. He has a day off. You don't care. Okay, so. After a perky line is my Santas, my 2005 Santa and my 2009 Santa. I don't have their patterns, pictures. They're gonna be against each other. Should I show you guys my, where I'm at on them right now? I'll show you who's, who's fighting it out. Okay. So, it's gonna be my hockey Santa versus my globe Santa. I think I would like my hockey Santa to win since it's hockey season right now, even though my team is sucking right now. Or Penguins girl. And we just traded Jake Gensel. I understand the trade, but I'm sad about the trade. So I'm hoping he wins. Oh, but they're going to be against each other. I'm not sure why I brought my projects over because I'm not actually going to show you them. And then I have my 
Seasons of the Heart. Oh, the Sandos are Prairie Schoolers. Everyone should know that. And then it's going to be my Seasons of the Heart from the Blue Flower. Yeah, right. Yeah, from the Blue Flower. My Seasons of the Heart is going to go up against my Spirits of the Dead from Modern Folk Embroidery. I hope Spirits of the Dead wins. Because as cute as this is, I do not like stitching it. I don't know why. I honestly cannot tell you why, but I don't enjoy it. Of course, I don't think I've stitched on it since I discovered I need readers to stitch. So maybe once I get this out, pop those readers on, maybe it'll make a world of difference. Because it has made a world of difference on some projects. But yep. Those are going to go up against each other. I didn't realize until I was pulling projects out that I actually do have preferred patterns that I hope win. I won't go out of my way to like stitch less on the other projects they win. My goal is to get stitches into these things. To use this as an excuse to get stitches in. So I don't want to like sandbag. Be a waste of my time. Anyways. And then... I have my Star Spangled Soul against my Chatelaine. And I don't have a preferred winner in this one. So my Star Spangled Soul is a punch needle pattern. Look at that. And I loved it so much, but I don't do punch needle. I don't want to do punch needle because I already don't have time for my other hobbies. But Kaylee said, hey, if you get permission from the designer, I, I could easily turn that into a cross stitch pattern for you. So I did. The designer said go for it. And then Kaylee turned it into a cross stitch pattern for me. So that against my Egypt Garden Mandala Chatelaine. Oh, look at those colors. Oh, they're both big. They're both like, I know this is not technically full coverage because it's got all that empty space but it's so much stitching and that is basically full coverage so they're both big and so I'll be interested to see which one gets more stitching in it because I love them both I really do really do love them both I have no preferred winner in that race Oh, and I think I'm stuck in a abyss of endless dark blue on Chatelaine, but <laughs> it, beats, it beats the black and sky green. And then last, against each other, I have my Autumn Lane Stitcheries Baba Yaga against my Al Force Embroidery, Embroidery's Dinosaur Forest. So, a lot of black against a lot of green. <laughs> And I hope Dino wins because I was so looking forward to starting this. And then my dog passed away and I got like three stitches into it. So I'd like to, like I really wanted this to be a focus for the year and that didn't, didn't, didn't start off well and it just had bad connotations with it and like I'd think of my dog every time I picked it up. Baba Yaga is a lot of so much black and I don't know why but I think my stitches look like garbage on the fabric I don't know why but you know I've been told more than a few times that I'm too critical of myself so I'm letting it go I mean I do think they look like garbage but I'm not gonna stop stitching I'm not gonna pull it out or do something else it's not so bad or I'm like I can't do it but yeah so for this one I do hope Dino wins but we'll see we'll see how the month is how the month goes 15th and 16th, I don't know how busy I'm going to be. <clears throat> That's what it all comes down to. One of these days, what day, what day is, I'm going to have a lot of stitching because I'm getting up super early that day. 12th. 12th is my Spirits of the Dead. Ooh. He might win because I might get a lot of stitching done on him. I have a mammogram first thing in the morning, like at the butt crack of dawn. So I'll be up. 
all my chores and everything will be done early. I'll have a lot more time. But then, and then next Thursday on the 14th, <clears throat> might not get a lot of stitching done on my Chatelaine because I'm getting a second tattoo. Just a really small little thing right here. Just, it's just really small. But bonus child's home from spring break. So my best friend and I are taking her with us. She wants to come with us to get my tattoo. And then we're going to go and get coffee and, you know, visit. So that's a going to be a busy day. So I might not get much done on my Chatelaine. I don't think I have anything else going on. I mean, I told my bonus kid that she could come over <clears throat> and camp on my couch and craft and watch YouTube as much as she wanted during her spring break. So when she's here doing that, I can, I can stitch because we, she'll just sit on my couch and I'll sit in my chair and we'll watch whatever and chit chat and catch up and, you know, do lovey, lovey family thing. I don't know where this goes. It goes in something. It goes in my perky lion. Which is today. So I put the back of my perky lion in my Lynn X Stitch Create bag. Alright. That is March Stitchy Madness so far. So, so far I have moving on Fluff the Dragon, Sea Witch, and Wave. And I'm super excited about all three of those moving on. Uh, the first one, I kind of wish Colorful Birds had moved on because I really want to get that done for my son. But like I said, I'm still working on it for um, prompts for fandom stitching. So we'll get some work in it. The only um, schedule I'm really keeping is um, I'm not, do work yeah, you can see I'm not working my EPP right this month. We're supposed to do that on Fridays, but I'm not doing that. And then uh, my Hade, I'm supposed to work on that on Tuesdays. I'm not working on my Hade. Mondays are my fandom stitching day where I try to knock out as many of the weeklies as I can one day. And then my Mirror day and my uh, Witchy Sal's day. Those are the only ones that I'm still uh, actively making sure I do on those days. Um, that's it. As for life, like I told you, I'm getting a tattoo next month, next week, having a mammogram next week. Bonus child's coming home for a visit for spring break next week. Uh, my husband, <clears throat> my husband's a coal miner, and uh, they're reaching the season where people need less coal. You know, heaters aren't really running much and things like that. So uh, they're cutting back his salary. He has a set schedule. But um, they have him work two Saturdays a month, and even though he's even though he's salary, if he works an extra Saturday, he gets the extra money. You don't care. Uh, they have said no, you can't do that anymore. And uh, to balance out that he's already done it once this month or last month, they gave him Monday off. So he had, I don't know if I'll get a lot of stitching done this weekend and on Monday actually, because we're gonna try to do stuff and hang out. Monday's the 18th, probably my Sea Witch day. Wait, is Monday the 18th? No, Monday's the 11th. God, Sarah, Monday's the Seasons of the Heart Winter. Yeah, so I don't know if my Santas and my Seasons of the Heart will get much stitching because um, we're trying to get back into biking. And, uh, but I think it might be bad weather, so you might be stuck in the house. In that case, you know I'm stitching. Or sewing. I got most of my fabric cut out for my next quilt, so I'll try to start doing that. Um, that's it for life. Um, my kid, uh, my college kid, exciting, is applying for an internship in New York over the summer at Harper Collins Publishing. So fingers crossed that she gets that. Uh, it's probably highly coveted. I mean, I don't know anything about internships, but it's in New York, and what college kid I guess doesn't want to go to New York. So. Um, Fingers crossed there. Uh, my son is enjoying his new job. He's already fixed, what is he fixed? A couple saws, uh, weed whacker, something else. Cause he's there to work on small engines. But then when there's no small engines, like nothing's in to be repaired, he helps with like the rental and uh, cleaning, I think. Like, uh, I don't know, 
but he's having a good time. He's enjoying it. And he got his first paycheck. And so, of course, he went out and bought himself food. <laughs> Other than that, yep, we're doing good here. So, spring's coming. I hope you guys are ready for it. I am eagerly anticipating it because I'd like to get back on my bike some more. We went bike riding last weekend and I did nine miles. I did 9.19, which I thought was funny because that's my birthday, 9.19. And it wasn't as hard as the first bike, not the first bike ride. It wasn't, I, now that I think about it, I thought that was our first bike ride, but we, we rode bikes not long ago on a nice day. Shit. I said, I thought that was our first bike ride of the season. Oh, well, but, um, it wasn't too bad. Didn't kill me, but it's funny because a couple years ago when we first started riding bikes, I, I did 22 miles <laughs> and it nearly killed me because we, it was like October and when we left the house, I was like, Oh, the weather's not so bad. By the time I got to where we were riding our bikes, it was so freaking cold and I was wearing a t-shirt and like short leggings and people were riding bikes past us wearing jackets and sweatpants and I was like so cold. I was riding with one hand and I'd have the other hand in my shirt to get warm and then I'd switch it. <laughs> yeah, it was bad. But I did 22 miles and other than being cold, my feet being numb and my butt hurting, it wasn't bad. And this nine miles was like, whew. So that's how far I have fallen because we did not ride bikes almost at all last year. And the year for that, was we started, we had started tapering off because my husband's job changed. So, of course, I've also gained back some weight, so that's not helping things. <laughs> okay, now I'm just rambling. Uh, thanks for stopping by. If you're doing um, a Stitch Madness, nope, March Stitchy Madness, March Madness, I hope you're having as much fun as I am. I love any reason to touch as many projects as I can in a month, even though I know sometimes I'd like to focus on a finish or sometimes I just don't want to stitch on this, but I'm glad because I want that pro end product. So I'm glad I have an excuse to pick it up and stitch it. So anyways, my dog's snoring and I have to do my chores. So I will talk to you guys next week. Bye.